Okay. The first and foremost thing you have to learn the skim method, right? Preview and skim the passage, right? So, how many? Uh, who can explain me what does it mean by skim? Who can explain me what is meant by skim? Okay. Yes, Niyati, go on. Uh, so, uh, skimming is like not exactly reading, but uh, it excludes all the unnecessary words like uh, all the articles and stuff. And it includes only going through the main point or what is the actual context of that particular portion. Correct, correct. Absolutely correct. Anybody else? Yes, Ronak. Uh, so just adding on to what Neeti just said, um, it's basically just a uh, fast reading through the entire passage just to get a faint idea of what the major underlying topic is all about. Like to have a bird's eye view, right? Yeah, correct. Correct. And yes, it is uh, see scheme in general is exactly what Neeti said. And uh, you said you just added fast reading. So fast reading is because you are attempting an exam. So from that perspective, fast reading is also correct. Let me show you. See, I'll be discussing all the points one by one. And at the end, I will be telling you what are the more, what are the points that, that has to be on your finger uh, fingertips, right? So let's see what is meant by preview and skimming the passage. So here is one passage given. Everybody, please read. And then I'll be telling you when you skim it, what exactly uh, the output is. Please go through it. And once done, uh, just comment in chat box. Yes, Nandini, avoiding to read the unimportant words. Absolutely correct. Once done, please type in chat box. Done. Okay, great. Let me show you the skim part i won't ask you right now and you know when you skim a passage just understand the general term of skimming it's like ghar mein jab doodh aata hai so doodh se jab malai banti hai and at last jab ghee banta hai sabke ghar mein hota hai right so wo jo ghee hai na that is the ultimate uh, outcome after the skimming process that means to have the essence that to have the uh, the most important and crucial part with you that's it so it says the sun sets behind the horizon casting a golden glow across the tranquil beach waves gently lap against the shore creating a soothing rhythm that lulls beach goers into a state of relaxation so everything is positive families build sand castles children splash in the surf and couples stroll hand in hand along with the water's edge seagulls soar overhead and their the cries mingling with the distant laughter of the beachcombers right the salty sea breeze carries the scent of sunscreen and seawood invigorating the senses surfers ride the waves their uh, silhouettes cutting through the water with grace and skills as evening falls, bonfires spring to life, illuminating the sand with flickering light. Everything is given, right? So if you extract from here, skimming is just like extracting the most important, the crucial part. That's it. This is the skimming part. Beach at sunset, tranquil scene, families playing, surfers, bonfires at night. That means the entire passage the entire passage is extracted into this. Okay. Now, everybody, please tell me if after reading the entire passage, you have the crux in your mind, won't it become easy to answer uh, correctly? Yes, you're saying in this para, I can see fun and facts about a particular activity. Yes, correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. Grievousen. I'm, I'm speaking in English only. Is everybody clear till now? Uh, 
Uh, no, Ronald, see, right now, this is just for the reference. In the beginning, you should start doing practice in this way. But after solving 40, 50 passages, you know, you will be having that edge that you know what exactly to read and what to lift. So that will become a, uh, that will become a habit eventually. Okay. So this was the first thing that to preview and skim the passage, right? I'll give you one more example. Now you all will read and you will be telling me after skimming, what is the output? Here is one more passage. Please go through it and tell me what should be the skimmed part. That means only the most important part, crucial part. Okay, yes, Aditi, busy happening city life. Yes. Yes, yes. About daily activity of urban life, the pros and cons. Okay, correct. But what you said, uh, Yash, uh, you said it in generalized way. It is not wrong, but it is a general answer. But when you skim, it should be specific. So that when you are solving questions, that will that that should uh, you know directly uh, stick to your mind. Let me show you what should be the skimmed part here. It talks about the heart of the bustling city of towering skyscrapers. Sketch. It, it's clearly visible, right? It's clearly evident, actually. Once you read the first line only, you can get the idea what the passage is all about. The reflective glass packets uh, shimmering in the sunlight, busy streets buzz with the constant hum of traffic and all and all. So basically, this is the last part. Uh, this is the ultimate part. City scenes, the skyscrapers, busy streets, cafes, street performers. You can add also, right? This is not uh, only limit. Uh, this is not limited only to what is on your screen. You can add a few more points also, like positives or negatives as well, as Yash has done. Okay, so I believe you got some clarity about the skimming part. Please answer me yes or no. Yes, Kushi, absolutely correct. Okay, great. I'm giving you one more passage and that passage will be with you in all the aspects what I'm going to explain today. So here it is. And you can, you all can relate this, uh, relate with this passage because now we all are, uh, we all have become addicted to this problem. Go on. Skimmed part. Connects people. Very good. Niyati has answered. Impact and influence of social media in our daily lives from connecting people. Correct. Absolutely correct, Nandini. Business concerns. Uh, Vanilla, can you please tell me concerns in which area, which sphere, which aspects? Because uh, I believe it is targeting at one particular uh, scenario, right? Anyways, on your screen, the skimmed part is given. Social media connects people globally. Users share thoughts, photos, engage with content. And businesses are using for marketing purpose. Concerns are privacy, mental health, misinformation. And it shapes communication and information consumption. That's it. Everybody, please focus on what I'm going to ask you. What I'm going to ask you. This is the entire passage. And this is the skimmed part. Do you agree with me in the skimmed part? All the important aspects which are discussed in the passage is given in a skimmed part. Do you agree with me? Right? Nothing is nothing has left. That's it. Now tell me which has, you know, uh, which part, the, the entire passage or the skimmed part, which is enough for uh, to answer the uh, uh, questions in, in examination. Just, just see what I'm trying to explain. You have to develop the ability to go from here 
to there. That's it. This is the sole purpose of our sessions. In examination, knowledge will come, but from, uh, you know, uh, I would say that knowledge, sometimes the traditional knowledge that you will practice here, you may not be able to implement that in examination hall because it happens most of the time. And it, it is a practice. Uh, it is a fact. Uh, okay, just tell me one thing. Does our mind stop working at any point of time or it functions 24-7, 365 days? Ronak, I'll come on all the points. Do not worry about that. We will discuss all the points. For, for coming five, six sessions, we will just have basics, right? I'm asking, uh, I have a question. I'm asking everyone. Uh, does our mind stop working at any point of time? 365 days, 24-7, it, it always works, right? Even when you sleep, does it stop working? Even when you sleep, it constantly works, right? So our mind never stop functioning 24-7, 365, except when you are in examination hall. Do you agree with me? <laughs> and it's true. So you have to understand the psychology of brain, right? Which skill is required to develop? Just one thing I'm asking you, and this is the only one thing that I want to teach you right now, this in this session, to learn how to skim. I believe everybody has got what is meant by skim. And I believe if you uh, do the practice on 10 or 12 passages, you will be master of it, right? There is no rocket science. Okay, let's proceed further. So first point is clear. Review and skim the passage. Let's come to the next one. Understand the main idea. It's quite obvious. So when I talk about understand the main idea, what we what we're talking about, it's about the subject, right? What is meant by subject? Subject is the person, the topic, the thing which is talked about. Okay. So in this passage, what is the subject? Can you please tell me? In passage number three, what is the subject? I'm not asking about the title. Title can be different. The subject is social media. If we are talking about positives or negatives, still social media, right? In the previous passage, what was the subject? Can you please tell me? Only city or something else? Modern cities, bustling city, life in a city. Or if I say, okay, nightlife, okay, city life would be a better term, correct, okay, that's it. So here, the main idea was social media has become an integral part of modern life, enabling global connections, personal expressions and business marketing, while also raising concerns about privacy, mental health and misinformation. So it's ultimately the same thing which did uh, which you have got after the process. The main idea is this. Because after skimming, you will get the main idea only. The third thing is to make notes of structural elements actually this okay uh, you can skip this part and this part also it is not needed as of now first second skimming and then subject is very important very crucial uh, you can skip this also as of now now this is very important keywords look for keywords so ssk I'm trying to make a mnemonic so that you can have this thing in your mind. SSK. That means skim, find out the subject, find out the keywords. So let us understand what is meant by keyword keywords. So first of all, what is meant by keywords? Keywords are specific words or phrase that capture the essence of the idea or a text. That's it. For example, in this passage, 
what are the keywords given let me show you we were talking about social media it has become integral part of life correct connecting people this is a keyword because it is capturing the essence connecting people where across the globe right then some names are given facebook twitter instagram these are the examples of the, uh, these are the platforms where what they do they share their thoughts and experiences that's it so what i'm highlighting here what i'm under underlining here these are the keywords right and that to instantly and from one thing to another right personal milestone to engaging in lively discussions on current events social media provides what does it provide a virtual space for people to express themselves that's it and connect with others which is already mentioned businesses also utilize so businesses are utilizing keywords social media what as what as a powerful marketing tool to reach potential customers through targeted advertisements and engaging content that's it right however the prevalence of the social media has also raised concerns about privacy so concerns about privacy mental health and the spread of misinformation right despite these challenges despite these challenges it continues to shape how we communicate consume information and interact with the world so what i have highlighted here are the keywords is this thing clear everybody please answer me and all the keywords are capturing everything which is mentioned in the passage see this is what i'm saying for coming uh, five or six sessions you will be having understanding about the basics and this knowledge will help you not only in your examination but everywhere right through these sessions you will learn how to read a content how to read a text okay let's proceed further so all the keywords are given there then we will come the seventh part identify tone and perspective this is very important very crucial because directly uh, questions are asked from this part let me show you how okay okay if i ask you of this passage right this passage can you please tell me what is the tone leave the perspective can you tell me what is the tone and how we will classify the tone let me show you tone will be either positive or negative now this can have classification if it is positive uh, positive so we will give some terminologies it depends in what way it is talk, it is positive right critical analytical so we have multiple tones i'm not taking any name right now because we will go slow ultimate objective is to complete the uh, you know complete things uh, in such a way so that you never forget it let me tell you tone here was informative and balanced right not only positives are talked not only negatives are talked balanced everything is talked correct that's it yes rona it is neutral okay so i'm giving you what we have covered so far first thing skim second thing find out the subject and third very important thing is keywords after this one more part is there poe can you please tell me what is meant by poe everybody poe process of elimination you will never ever jump on the right answer right never jump on the right answer you have to reach to the right answer you have to figure it out the right answer right can you explain me what is meant by this what i have written never jump on the right answer yes ron neutral can you please tell me what is meant by this yes ron never jump on the right one always reach the right one yes neeti everybody will write in chat box only as of now never jump means you will not select any one option reach means you have to explore all the options 1 2 3 4 5 right 
So let's see, one is wrong. You found second is sound good. Uh, second is sounding good. So you can hold it out, but you will not finalize that. Yes, it is the right answer. No. Then you will read the third one, fourth one, and fifth one. Eliminate all the wrong options. Pick out the right one. That's it. So let's begin the practice. Yes, correct, Shreya. Remove the options which are not relevant. Absolutely correct. Okay, I'm giving you one very interesting uh, passage today first. And the level I have kept is moderate as of now because we will raise the level one by one. Okay, take this. Uh, this is part one. Matlab, we have on two pages. This is page one. Go through it. Skim it. Write down the keywords. And if you're not writing down, then um, you will lose everything. It will be vanished. Because these are not just sessions. I'm, I'm, I have made it like practice session in fact, actually uh, uh, in a way so that if you practice with me, you will understand every single thing. Done. Please write in chat box if yes. Okay. Second page. Shall I tell you? Yes, Priya, uh, very, very good. Economics, uh, currency, Indian, Indian rupee, Russia, Ukraine war increase. Challenges for RBI. Uh, Priya, you have given a very generalized answer, but that's okay. It was a good attempt. Shall we discuss? Shall we discuss? And uh, if you are agree with me, just reply in the chat box. Do you agree that? Just one second. Ha. So it is talking about some concerns. What is the concern? Do you agree with me that the value of Indian rupee is depreciating? And this is happening because of some factors. What are those factors? Russia, Ukraine war. Correct? Yes or no? And because of this war, what is happening? The supply chain has been disrupted. Correct? It has affected supply chain. Please answer me yes or no if you agree with me. Right? And because of this disruption, what has happened? The inflationary factors, right? Inflationary pressure is created. Yes or no? Correct. And because of this, India's import bill has increased. India's import bill has increased. And because of this, something else has happened. Correct. So you can see here is a chain. What happened then? Outflows of investments. Direct outflows of investment. So it is a series if you if you notice. Later what it says. Is everything clear till now? Please answer me yes or no. With this problem, what RBI is doing? Solutions. What RBI is trying to mitigate uh, the cons uh, mitigate the impact of this problem. What it is doing? Selling of dollars. Hmm. 
right? And then because of this, what happened? Everything is given there. See, I have written just because to make you understand things are not that difficult. Concern? Indian rupees is uh, the, the value of Indian rupees is depreciating because of factors like Russian Ukraine war and how it has led supply chain was disrupted because of this. This happened, then this happened, then this happened. And to control all the problems, RBI is taking some measures. That's it, right? Let us come to question number one. Answer it. Let's see. Question number one is, which of, the which of the following is the author most likely to agree with? It is a major cause for concern if an economy's currency is depreciating. Can we consider this one? Currency depreciation is not a reason for worry in itself, but if macroeconomic factors are not good, there may be a cause for concern. Can we hold this as well? The fact that See, you have to tell me at least two options that can be ruled out without any problem. At least two options. The fact that the Indian rupees is witnessing a decline in value against major currencies in very worrisome is very worrisome. Can we rule out the third option? Please answer me. Because the focus is not only on the Indian currency. It is talking about macroeconomic factors as well. The depreciation of an, of, of an economy's currency is not a matter of concern in itself. The decline in value against major currencies has to be viewed within a set of macroeconomic factors. Right? So C has to be ruled out without any problem. A central bank must always do everything in its power. Has this been mentioned? No. So whether A, B or E. Yes. Major cause for concern if an economy's currency is depreciating. Yes, this information is given. But if you compare the A and the B, you will find B is capturing more information in, in itself rather than A. Correct? A is just part of information whether B is covering it all. Not all, but yes, a, a wider aspect. So here, B is the right answer. Next, based on author's argument, which of the following, if true, would reduce the decline in value of the rupee? Very good question. Go through it. When you are answering, please do write the question number. Appointing a new governor for the RBI who has a better sense of how to control inflationary, uh, inflationary trends. Can we rule out the first option? Rule out at least two options. Eliminate at least two options. Can we rule it out? Yes, we can. A steep increase in commodity prices and the contributed disruption of supply chains. Can we rule out the second option? See, this is just our second session where we have started practicing. After, after five or six sessions, you know, if this were the passage in my seventh or sixth session, so I would have told you that it says a steep increase in commodity prices. Has this word ever mentioned in the passage? Commodity, nowhere, pa uh, passage is not talking anywhere about commodity prices. So we can simply rule it out. We will not read it further. Rule it out. So here, one more point is there. Whatever information given in the passage, and if there is any option, if there is any option that is talking about anything which is outside the passage, you can simply rule that out. 
okay if any option has some information which is out of the passage you can rule that out 90 percent that will not be the correct answer at all anyways a reduction in worldwide did you notice this point did you write down this point what did i say if in any option any information is given which is out of the passage rule it out that's it a reduction in worldwide inflationary trends and the reduction of interest rates in developed country markets question is which of the following if true would reduce the decline in value of the rupee okay so can we hold it out c option is a very good choice can we hold it out yes the rbi buying as many dollars as possible from the market so this is actually going against what was mentioned in the passage uh, but in the passage it was saying that it is selling off so can we rule out the fourth option the right answer here is c okay any problem no next is which of the following if true would most weaken the author's argument most weaken so basically this is the question of cr critical reasoning right we will do it at last next which of the following if true would most strengthen the author's argument for for why indian exports may not be able to now let me just give you some idea about strengthening and weakening part okay let's say uh, if i am saying if it rains and if i go without an umbrella i will i will get wet right i will get wet now please understand this is one argument that i'm making right let me explain you if it rains and if i go out without an umbrella i will get wet so this is one conclusion and this is some information that is called premise premise is some background information that's it and this premise plus conclusion is called an argument okay so this is basically an argument if i add one more point now please tell me the point that i'm going to add it will add validity to the argument or it will uh, you know lessen the value of the argument one point that i'm going to add i have a raincoat if it rains and if i go out without an umbrella i'll get wet however i have a raincoat so it will strengthen the argument or it will weaken the argument please answer me please answer me it is weakening it did you understand this point that's it so basically in cr part argument premise conclusion weakening strengthening these are so simple so familiar things that it becomes difficult to understand right let's say if i explain that this number is called 2 so you would be having this feeling i know what to explain in this right premise is just an statement just an statement okay so if i say i have a raincoat this will weaken the validity or uh, this argument that clear this is what you are supposed to do here the weakening part go through it and tell me the answer site prem premise is just a statement right for example if i say uh let's say i'm giving you one general situation i am feeling hungry 
therefore i'm going to make something for me and something could be anything let's i'm going to ma make maggi i'm going to cook maggi so there are two statements i'm going to cook maggi and before that i'm feeling hungry so i'm feeling hungry is a premise and conclusion is i'm going to cook maggi okay that's it so there is a confusion between c and d let's see which will weaken the indian economy has been affected by global inflationary trends and the increase of interest rates in developed countries market okay anything else can we rule out the first option the first one can we rule it out yes because it will not weaken the argument what was the argument basically that the depreciation of the currency is not a matter of concern right and it says the economy has been affected by global inflationary trends and the increase because in passage itself it is talking about things are going wrong second is saying since developed country markets have increased their interest rates global investors have pulled their investments out of other economies and route and routed them to such developed country markets so again i believe this will strengthen the argument rather than weakening it do you agree with me can we rule out the second option argument is things are going worse so weakening statement should be that goes against it and it's it should say that things are going good sir but won't their investments help situation how it is saying that investors are taking the money they are taking the money out of the economy so how it will help them right so we can rule it out as the demand for the us dollar increases it is likely the rupee price of a dollar would increase substantially so if the price of rupee is increasing will this be a good situation we can hold it out the indian economy and currency are highly the indian economy and currency are highly protected and have been insulated from the effects of global inflationary trends and the increase of interest rates in developed market this is a very good choice now guys which option do you go with uh, would you like to go with c or d c or d yes why c i want to know your reason why c correct correct irshin very good we are holding because there was some uh, information in in such a way that was going with the uh, question but when i read the fourth option i found this is the best option that we can get let me explain you what d option is saying so basically it states that the indian economy and currency are highly protected and have been insulated from the effects of global inflationary trends and the increase of interest rates in developed country market correct passage was talking about which type of market developed or developing please answer correct it has the lack of information so out of c and d d is the best option that we can pick here which is most weakening one more thing i'm telling you that in uh, these question strengthening and weakening in fact in uh, overall verbal part nothing is factual nothing will be 100% correct what what is most suitable question, question in itself is saying most suitable for example you all know that x into x is equal to x square it is a fact it is a factual information it has to be true in all the aspects but in verbal part nothing is factual here things are like the most correct the most suitable and all that's it question number 4 in, in this way yes rona this is the same thing 
which of the following if true would most strengthen the argument why indian exports may not be able to take advantage of a falling falling rupee tell me your answers economies across the world are witnessing a slowdown and in such economies demand demand for imports decrease substantially can we hold out the first option sounds good can we hold out the first option second is economies across the world are booming and there is an increase in demand for indian exports what it is talking about indian exports may not be able to take advantage and here it is just going again so we can simply rule it out c option a reduction in the volume of exports would be more than offset by the increased value of dollars than indian exporters would earn can we hold out the third option can we hold the third one see everybody has to answer do not worry if your answer gets wrong uh, go right shall we hold the c option yes or no if you notice as per the passage c is not correct d says countries across the world have managed to find ways to insulate themselves from the effects of russia ukraine war and will not will need uh, a lot of indian imports to sustain their way no this is also incorrect so better answer here is option number next go with this which of the following must necessarily be true you can answer it easily question 5 and question 6 i'm giving you as homework there are two uh, one question number 5 then question number 6 is also there can you take a screenshot can you take the screenshot is a screenshot allowed there in zoom meet okay so you take the screenshot question number 5 and 6 is your homework okay i'm giving you access and everybody you can ask me your queries if you have any 